This, red alert, all hands to battle stations, is the Cybersecurity Minute. Sabotage. Aye. By Protected Harbor. They occur from an initial download. So cyber attacks are two phases. One is an initial download, and that's kind of a remote control gives the attacker the ability to come in and kind of look around. Then there's the actual attack itself, which is much more serious. The attack can come in via an end user clicking on an email from your employee visiting an infected website that has a hidden cookie on it, and that cookie causes an attack. Or there could be direct ports that are open, direct ways for an attacker to come in. These are multiple ways that attacks begin. But entry points can be vast, and there can be many of them. These are just three examples. Once that initial payload is downloaded, now the attacker looks around. Where are the exposures? Where are the vulnerabilities in that environment? And finally, when they've discovered all the vulnerabilities, they encrypt the data, and that's when the attack actually occurs. Best way to stop that attacker is ensuring that there's fewer entry points, and then at each entry point, enabling multi-factor authentication, where you've got to have a device, a dongle, a cell phone, uh, or an authentication piece of software, so it's not as easy to get in as simply an ID and a password. If your vendor is not advocating for you to use multi-factor authentication, if your vendor is not coming to you with those issues, I would welcome the opportunity to design a system for you that's customized, that's bulletproof, that's resilient, and will protect you and stop attacks today and tomorrow, even the ones we don't know about. 